The concept arts, Mason. What do they mean? Well, let's talk about it. What's going on guys, Jeremy Bandicoot here, back with another video, another unscripted video, because my god, has so much news been dropping. The next couple of videos are going to be posted over the weekend, very contrary to my usual style, but there is so much news that I want to go over, starting with Toys for Bob making kind of a little bit of an oopsie. So Toys for Bob posted a picture, I believe on Twitter, uh, basically, uh, from their event, I believe it was giving uh, backpacks or supplies to children in need, which is a fantastic fundraiser and a fantastic event to, to do. So, props to Toys for Bob for doing that. That They didn't have to do that. that I mean, great company. You know, very, very caring company. I love it. Uh, but they, they did make a little bit of an oopsie. See, at this event, they had images of Crash Bandicoot characters on their walls and on their monitors and, and, you know, what have you, that made their way into the original pictures. Now, the pictures were retracted and re-uploaded as cropped images, taking out most of these elements, but we still have, being the internet, we still have the original pictures. So let's go over them real quick, just to see what they mean. So on the wall here, we can see Dingo Dial, Entropy, Nor Cor what looks like Cortex's feet, and a regular engine, as well as Brio in his mutated form from Crash 1. And all of these designs don't really make sense with the timeline that's going on here, or the developer. So the Insane Trilogy was developed, of course, by Vicarious Visions, not Toys for Bob. So why would Toys for Bob have any of these concept arts? Well, Toys for Bob were the developers for the Reignited Trilogy for Spyro, they really didn't have anything to do with Crash aside from Crash's inclusion in Skylanders. You remember that before the Insane Trilogy? Yeah, nobody tends to remember that. So that's really their only connection with Crash. So why in the world do they have all of these concept arts for Dingo Dial, he looks different, Entropy looks different, but the mutated embryo, the cortex, and the engine all look relatively the same as their bases. Now, a lot of people are speculating that this is going to be DLC for uh, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel, but I think that is the furthest thing from the truth, because number one, why would you have an original Cortex and original engine on your wall if you're making skins? Number two, you're not Beanox, you're not Vicarious Visions, you don't necessarily have access to all of those uh, base forms and skins, so why would Toys for Bob be developing them and re-skinning them and kind of putting new concept art in it, it just doesn't really add up. For me, this all points to the future of Crash and Spyro. A few weeks ago, I posted a video called, uh, Will Crash Twin Sanity Get a Remaster or Should It? And I'm also still in production, uh, for Will Crash Bash or Should Crash Bash Get a Remaster? And at that point, that video is just for fun. I'm pretty much... Now that this news has dropped as well, I'm pretty much 99% sure that Crash and Spyro won't be getting any more remakes. I'm 1% chance anything can happen, but I'm I'm done with remakes and believing in them because there, there's just so much evidence pointing to the fact that new games are on the horizon for Crash and Spyro, and it is an exciting time with it being that way. And to me, that is what this concept art points to. Toys for Bob developed for Spyro. They're, they're proven in the remaster game. They're proven with these entities. What I think Activision wants to do is, I don't think they want to rely on these same studios for the same tricks they've been doing. They don't want to have Vicarious Visions exclusively in charge of Crash. They don't want to have Toys for Bob exclusively in charge of Spyro. And they don't want to have Beanox exclusively in charge of putting both of those entities into Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. What I'm thinking is going on here is Activision is commissioning Toys for Bob to make a new Crash game with these designs. Because if you look at Dingo Dial, it's a much, it's not a much different, I shouldn't say that. It's a different spin on the character, 
kind of akin to what we saw in Twin Sanity, where he was stockier, he was thicker, he looked more like a mutated dingo dial th crossbreed between a dingo and a crocodile, not just a dingo with a crocodile bottom. And of course, you could take this as a spin on a Twin Sanity remaster because it looks similar. I, I don't think that's the case because Entropy, look at that right there, he wasn't even in Twin Sanity. He's got a whole new redesign, he's got freaking arm shields like Captain America, look at that, that looks sick to me. But these characters, the redesigns at least, all look great, and the original models for Cortex, for what I can see, Engine, and the mutated form of Brio all look cool as well. So with all of these elements coming together, new Crash game, it's spelled out, and all of these villains, all of these elements are definitely looking to make an appearance, which is really nice, because the only game that we've seen mutated embryo, or a mutated villain in general with that serum, is Crash 1 with Brio, and Mind Over Mutant with Cortex. So needless to say, I'm really excited to see where this goes, because it's not 100% confirmed that it's a new Crash game, but we can definitely read between the lines here. There's obviously some reason why Toys for Bob, a company that had nothing to do with the Crash remakes, or Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel for that matter, has these concept arts, and has been commissioned to make them as a part of their department. There's got to be a reason for it. It's not a remaster. It's not another redo of a game. It's 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 got to be a new Crash game. And where there is a new Crash game, there's got to be a new Spyro game somewhere down the pipe as well. Because we really haven't heard much from Spyro since his remaster and his appearance in Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. So I'm not sure where the development cycles between the two would cross here. I'm kind of on the fence about whether a Crash game would come first, but the Insane Trilogy did outperform the Reignited Trilogy slightly, and Crash has been kind of the figurehead of this whole remastered business, so it kind of would make sense for them to go with his new game first, and then develop a new game for Spyro. I just kind of don't think it's the best idea because it takes Spyro out of the limelight, but that's just my own personal opinion. I'm not a multi-million dollar company and it shows. But what do you guys think about these concept arts? Are you excited? Are you still grasping for hope for remasters? What do you think? I want to hear your thoughts. Leave them in the comment section below, I'd love to read them. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching, it really does mean the world to me. If you wouldn't mind, if you liked what you saw here, go ahead and go down below, hit that subscribe button, and while you're down there, smash the hell out of that like button and the notification bell to stay updated with the rest of my videos. Thanks guys, and I'll see you guys next time.